This is a short bite episode of Homeschool Together. Hello and welcome to Homeschool Together Short Bite Edition. Thanks so much for joining us today. We're going to be talking about the Build Your Library Harry Potter unit study. Woo-hoo. I have nothing to do with this. Ariel, go. All right. Well, we have Jessica Weeks with us uh, coming back from her interview because we found out she's going to be doing the Harry Potter unit study. And I am very excited to learn all about that. So welcome, Jessica. Hi. So tell us, uh, what are you, you, so you've already done the first Sorcerer's Stone unit study, is that correct? And you're going to be starting into chamber. So can you tell us a bit about what is contained in the unit study and and your thoughts on, on the first level that you did? Um, yeah, um, I, I really liked it. It was a nice little break from our regular curriculum, but it wasn't too light. I think it was just a nice, perfect, like a little bit lighter, but I still felt like we were getting a lot done. So that was always nice. So you um, basically you go through and you read the book and then you have the, you know, the vocabulary that you learn about and all the different magical creatures and the magical instruments that they use. And you put we put them in a notebook. You can do however you want, of course, because build your library is so flexible. And then there's the herbology study that was added on to the first one that you did. And we and you also do, you know, you learn all the vocabulary there and you learn about different plants. So it's just kind of a fun little combination of Harry Potter. How fun is that? Plus a little, you get the science to go with it. So the herbology, you're learning about real plants, not the magical plants and fungi of the Harry Potter <laughs> world. Yes. And I actually, the herbology book, I think it's called the, well, what's it called? The kids herb book something like Mm -hmm. that. I'm going to, I'm totally messed that up. I'm sure. We'll put it in the show notes. Yeah. um, It was an awesome book. I loved it because you learn about real plants. you learn about their medicinal uses. They have recipes that Mm -hmm. use the plants. Like there was a recipe for homemade root beer and homemade marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Plus mixed throughout the book, there's like fairy tale stories about plants. Mm -hmm. So it was really fun. I had a blast doing it. And you do, um, like we did some leaf rubbings. My kids went out and searched for leaves to rub them into their notebooks with crayons. I mean, that's who doesn't love doing that. And then they got to go to school. (laughs) (laughs) So how about how long is the unit study? How many weeks is it planned for? There, I think each one, because I actually have all of them already at this point. (laughs) Future planner. Yes, I know. I am. They're all about a month long. Okay. Yeah. So we're actually using them as a break in between each continent. Oh, okay. So now, so you're getting the, you're getting a a science aspect and I'm guessing that each level probably leans into a different science um, than the next one. Yes. So I don't know what the, I know the second one is astronomy. Okay. Okay. So they're going to each lean into something. And then there's, is there some like writing components to it? Is there some uh, copy work and dictation things? I know that's typical with the other build your library levels. I didn't know if it was used in this unit study. Yes. Yes. There's the copy work and dictation. And, and part of the writing is you also create your own like Hogwarts, like newspaper. Oh, mm-hmm. your own daily profit. Yes, your own daily profits. Neat. So and is, is there uh, is there art and and other or craft projects uh, involved in this one too? Good question. I believe there was final projects at the end. I'm trying to remember, it's been a few months since we did the last one, and I haven't read through the next one yet. Even though we're starting it next week, so <laughs> you can tell I'm a planner. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I believe there were final projects for both the herbology part and the actual Harry Potter book. And then they have a few options for each one, like the herbology one, you could try growing plants, um, like your own herbs, or you could try experimenting with adding like food coloring and the water you water the plant with, I believe, to see if it goes up into the plant. And then there's um, different ones for the Harry Potter, like make your own diorama or a poster or something like that. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So you've done this with your children, which are eight and 11, right? Um, how do you feel about age wise? Do you think, 
like what's your assessment based on the first one and, and what kind of age range you think it would be appropriate for? I think it's probably for most kids good for my age range. Um, my youngest doesn't do a lot of the stuff. I can go do some of the copy work and some of the fun little things, but she doesn't do any of the writing or anything like that. She's just not into it, but it all comes down to your own individual kids too. If they're, you know, are they going to want to do the vocabulary? Are they going to want to do the copy work? Are they going to want to do the daily profit? It all comes down to that. My sister's actually trying it with her kids here and there too, who are younger. Her oldest is only eight. So, <laughs> so she skipped a lot of the stuff because it was just a little too much for my niece to do, but they still had fun doing the parts that they did. Um, do, do you read the books while you're doing this or is this really strictly just a curriculum? No, they read the Oh yeah. That, no, oh. I, I read everything. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It, you, each level Matt is not inducted yet into the Bilger <laughs> library unit studies, but yes, oh, yeah. each, each is this level a popular book series, <laughs> each level you read through one of the books, like oh, okay. what is it like a chapter a day or, or chapter every other day, something like that. And yeah, then oh, it's usually okay. about a chapter a day. And then, and the unit study corresponds to that book. Right. And so then yeah. the unit study is picking a specific science that is something different for each book and pulling in some other art and writing and some things. Is there also cooking in this one too? Do they use like the unofficial Harry Potter cookbook or anything to, to cook along with the, with the book? It's one of the optional add-on books. I, that's one thing I wish they had done a little better is I know they talk about some of the foods in the books, but I wish that in the guide that she kind of pointed out when they mentioned a recipe and what page in the cookbook it was on. Yeah. They don't do all the recipes in the cookbook because it's, I'm not going to sit down and read a cookbook. <laughs> yeah. And the cookbook's not organized by, we have the cookbook. The cookbook's not organized by, um, by book a chapter yeah. yeah it's organized by like all breakfast foods or something and, and but it does yeah. tell you what part of the books they came from and what pages but it is a little bit challenging I agree yeah it's a little daunting so is there anything else that you really wish that was covered or anything you plan to add in when you do this next level that's not you know included in the unit study as as uh purchased I don't think so I mean we've got the recipe book and you know the other add-on books and we may look at them, we may not, but we like to do like that when we put in a unit like this into our main curriculum to take a break, it's nice to have just a lighter month in there to help just yeah. kind of break things up for the year. Almost like a mini, like, you know, a spring break, but we're still doing school. <laughs> it's just a little more fun. So do you have any kind of, uh, did you, did you do any kind of big celebration at the end of the first one where you, you know, watch the movie, make a meal? Is there something like that, that kind of wraps up the unit study? I, I tried to do the whole, let's watch the movie after each unit. And we watched the movie and then my husband's like, Hey, let's keep watching the movies. I'm like, but, but <laughs> we're trying to do this for school, but let's watch them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right i won't argue <laughs> so well yeah. i think this is great we're looking forward to doing this when our children are a little bit older so we really appreciate hearing your experience with it yeah i think they're they're fun it's just a great little fun way to do it. we almost thought about doing the harry potter unit studies as a whole year but then i kind of worried that we might get burnt out yes and oh, that harry, would be harry potter. that would be a tr that, that would be a crime I mean <laughs> to yeah. burn out on Harry Potter but I feel like it would definitely be possible if that was your whole focus of school for a full year yeah and I, didn't I, want I could see that so it's the way we're doing it I think will help because Harry Potter is now going to be our fun break from learning about each continent we you know we're going to break it up so Harry Potter's the fun part of the year so I think that'll help a lot. It's all the fun part of the year. Let's face it. Well, <laughs> yes, but they come to it refreshed. <laughs> when you change it up every once in a while, the kids get refreshed. <laughs> they do. They do. Well, thanks so much for joining us. We yeah. really appreciate hearing your experience. I'm sure this will be helpful to lots of families. I hope so. <laughs> thanks so much for joining us today and making us a part of your homeschool journey. Please engage with us on social media. Join our Homeschool Together podcast group on Facebook and find us at Homeschool Together podcast on Instagram. We'd love to hear your feedback, questions, and recommendations.
Until next time. Happy homeschooling!